Uh, fuck me. Hey guys, Annika, welcome to my Chanika. Fuck. I'm really fucking sick, but today I'm going to be doing a first impressions. I literally filmed this three times, so it's no longer first impressions, and it's just a tutorial. Some of these things were sent to me. I'll let you know when they are, but um, I fell asleep in my makeup, so first I'm going to be taking that off using the Lancome by Facile makeup remover. I love this makeup remover. It's really fucking good. Uh, I hate myself so much. I did get sent this by Lancome, and like I would actually tell you if I didn't like it and I actually think it's great and it doesn't smell bad it doesn't leave an oily residue and it really gets off like everything Ooh, yes I think it's gold so I fall asleep in my makeup on the rig and my hair is so greasy and I literally like I'm so sick literally listen to me do you fucking hear me it's times like these where I realize that I need to start being grateful for the days that I can actually breathe out of my nose because I literally can't breathe out of my nose so yeah shut up how sexy am I <coughs> For, <coughs> for primer, I'm going to be using the Kenzoki Matte Hydrating Jelly. It's really weird, but you can buy this at Sephora. It's a French brand, I'm pretty sure. Um, I really like it. It's like a primer, and it has a pump, and I really appreciate that. Oh, this was also sent to me. I'm sorry. This is like kind of jelly-like, and from what I've tried, it does keep on my foundation, and it really smooths my pores. It's supposed to hydrate, mattify, and smooth, which is a really weird combination of shit, but whatever floats your day. I'm so fucking hot. Oh, my God. So, the first time I filmed this, my microphone didn't work the second time I filmed it I got a new microphone and the microphone sounded like shit and so this is my third time filming it and yeah for foundation <coughs> I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal infallible total cover foundation which is one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the moment I heard Mel Joy talking about this and that's why I got it and I really really like it the consistency is kind of like if you took a shit hey how's it going I haven't seen you in forever you know I miss you you look done up thanks I did it I love it where are you going to buy a car are you selling yours? Yeah. Um, do you want to do something this afternoon? Sure. Bye. Kind of like you take a shit, then you put, it, <laughs> you put it in a whipped cream can, and then you put it on your hand. That's the consistency. It's very, like, whipped. Oh, I'm in the shade 304 Natural Buff. Sorry, the gardeners are here. Love my life. Wait, what brush was I putting this on with before? Oh, I was using my Beauty Blender? No, no way was I using my Beauty Blender. I don't remember what brush I was using. I'm just going to use my Morphe Y6 brush. This foundation, what I love about it is it is so full coverage. I have dry skin and it doesn't get or well, I have combination skin but in my dry patches it doesn't dry up too much especially when I use this primer you need to use a hydrating primer but it is so full coverage and I love this foundation so much and honestly this is one of my holy grails at the moment when I want for when I want extremely full coverage oh my god everything's happening at once I'm so overwhelmed this is making me really mad I really want them to shut the fuck up let's check the sound because I'm getting really anxious now they're kind of moving away now and my hair looks so fucking disgusting because it is so greasy because I hate showering so I just need to finish touching up my face fuck they're back fuck me literally God hates me literally I've lost all faith in Jesus Christ also when I was um, doing my makeup last time I was reading this letter from a girl named Rachel and she's from Connecticut and so I'm gonna read it again and I'm gonna answer the question again while I do my concealer and for concealer I'm gonna be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I'm in the shade NC20 wait I need to sneeze no I don't my name is Rachel. I'm so obsessed with your Chanika. You helped me decide what makeup products to buy. You're so gorgeous, and I can't wait to see what videos you have in store for us all. Congrats on 3K. This was set on April 7th. I had 3K in April, and now it's June, and I have 12K. That's so fucking weird to me. Thank you, guys. And she said, I have one question. What is your thoughts on Kylie Cosmetics? So I'm going to put this on the back of my hand, and I'm going to put it on with my Real Technique sponge. Um, My thoughts on Kylie Cosmetics are that I think that she's a really... I don't like how the Kardashians came to fame. But I respect Kylie Jenner because I feel like she is such a trendsetter and literally everybody does what she does. I feel like Tana Mojo said this once, but she was saying like Kylie cut her hair short, everybody cut their hair short, Kylie dyed her tips blue, everybody dyed their tips blue, Kylie gets lip injections, everybody gets lip injections. Like she is a total role model and everybody follows what she does. And I really respect her for using that to her advantage. And I do really like their lip products, but I'm not a huge fan of her face products, at least from what I've tried. I don't like her peach palette and I don't like her highlighters but I do think that she's a really respectable person and she's probably making a lot more money than she needs to but you know what <laughs> 
For powder, I'm going to be using the, oh, I'm out of focus powder. For powder, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm almost out of this, and I think that I want to buy the full size, and that's commitment for me. I have the mini size, and I was planning on buying another mini size. I feel like I should just buy the full. The real deal. <coughs> Fuck me. I literally, like, I had plans with Sasha and Corey and Olga. And then I had to cancel because I'm so sick and I literally, like, don't want to leave my house. So that's what's popping. I fucking hate my life. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. I just got this in the mail. I ordered it from Ulta. I got it the other day. Really pumped. I'm really happy that it comes with a real brush because if it were going to come with those stupid-ass sponge applicators, I was about to fucking rage. But they're trying to be the modern renaissance. This is what it looks like. Um, so it comes with a wannabe modern renaissance ish brush but I'm not gonna be using that at least right now and they have the names on this shitty ass piece of fucking plastic which I fucking hate but you know I'm fine I'm gonna get my scone blending brush and my Sephora color switch I'm just gonna make sure that the brush is clean yay the gardeners are gone and I'm gonna be taking the shade cool which is just I'm gonna take this oh fuck. it's just this like plain white color and I'm using that as my transition shade and also to set the concealer that I put on my eyelid down and then I'm gonna be taking the shade neutral which is this like cool tone brown I guess me putting that in my crease <laughs> I'm such a beauty guru so I'm watching this movie called the bling ring and it is literally the worst movie I've ever seen I was searching put locker because I love illegally watching movies um, <laughs> and I was like ooh bling ring that seems interesting it has Emma Watson and that girl in American Horror Story who plays Violet in the first season I don't know what her real name is but yeah they have those two so I was like oh cool literally it's the worst movie ever it's not necessarily the plot I think it's really interesting it's about a bunch of kids that steal shit and they like do drugs and stuff but like that's interesting to me I think that that's interesting but I don't like the way it's executed at all there's really no plot there's no climax there's nothing and Emma Watson is such a bad actor in this and it was in 2013 so that was fairly recently and like I thought Emma Watson was a good actor but she is so bad in this movie but I think it's honestly just the director I think the director is shitty so don't watch the movie it's bad then I'm gonna be taking the shade adapt which is this just like neutral but a little bit darker than the one that we last took I'm gonna be putting that towards my outer corner, but you know, putting it in my crease too. Because. And then I'm gonna be taking the shade Trend, which is this warm tone brown, and I'm just gonna be putting that in so I can warm up the whole look, kind of. Because I'm a beauty guru and I hate cool toned eyeshadows. I only use warm toned. Mostly I'm using it because I wanna add the dimension, not using the warm and cool tones ads, but you know what? However you wanna interpret it. Oh yeah. Okay, and then the last shade we're gonna take in our crease is the shade Custom, which is this like dark purpley tone. It does have little glitters in it, but um, we're fine. I really don't understand the name of this palette. When I first heard it, I thought it was called New Trails versus Neutrals. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, they kind of like split it up, but it's literally New Dash Trowel versus Neutrals in one word. Like, it's such a stupid... I don't... Like, I want to understand the name, but I don't. Like, I don't understand why it's called that. Oh my god. So, when I'm like up at night, I Google search everything there is to know about one topic. I don't know why. I get really obsessive about something. I was researching autism because I realized that I had never learned about autism, but like, it's so interesting. Like, sorry if you have autism and I'm like offending you by being like oh you're a science experiment but it's literally so interesting I'm gonna be taking a flat shader brush this one is from Cuivage and I'm gonna be taking the shade mode which is this like gold shade I'm gonna be spraying my brush with the Mario Badescu cucumber water <coughs> I have like a spinny chair with wheels and I'm like right over a piece of bubble wrap so <laughs> you're welcome. Wow, I'm such a Tumblr aesthetic goddess gold person. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And recently I've been really obsessed with their clear brow gel. I feel like it just like holds your eyebrows in all day. Like literally it's like fucking super glue for your eyebrows. I don't know, I'm fucking obsessed. What happens when you go into labor on an airplane? Thought-provoking. Has that ever happened? Or like pregnant ladies discouraged from going on airplanes. It literally takes me so long to do my eyebrows. This is why I don't do it on camera. I think it's really sexist personally that women can have babies and men can't. I'm really triggered. Can't believe it. I thought society had come to more than that. And I'm gonna be taking the brow gel and just setting my brows, making them a little bit wispy, but not like too much. <coughs> I can breathe through my nose again. JK. Oh yeah, I need to do my lower lash line. I really suck at being a beauty guru, okay? I'm gonna be taking that shade Trend, that warm shade that we took before. I'm gonna be taking that on an MUA crease brush and I'm just gonna be lightly running that underneath. 
Oh, yes, what a queen. I really like this palette. I feel like it blends out really, really nicely. Yeah, I just think for like, I don't know how much it was. It was like 12 bucks. I think that's a really good palette. It really blends. Like, I wish they sold this at drugstores in America for mascara. I'm going to be using the Lancome um, Hypnos Drama Mascara. This also was sent to me Octoly in exchange for an honest review. And I have tried this a few times. Let me show you the wand. It's kind of like wavy. It's kind of like wavy. Um, and my opinion on this is that it's a good mascara. Don't get me wrong, but I don't, I think it's like $25. And so, like, I compare it to the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. I feel like they give me the same effect on my eyes, and that one is, like, 8 bucks. so why don't you just buy that one? I do think it's a good mascara, and if you're, like, so rich that you don't know what to do with all your money, then go ahead and buy this. But, like, I don't know. It's a mascara. It's gonna go old. I try and not buy too, too many high-end mascaras because, I don't know, what's the point? So the title of this video is going to be First Impressions. It's not actually First Impressions. It's because I already made the border for my video and I really don't want to make it again. And it has a one. So I don't... Clickbait! For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physicist Formula Butter Bronzer. I did not find her. I bought a new one because she's a little bitch. She's so good, so I can't stay mad at her for too long. And I'm using a Sephora 54 blush brush. Like, what the fuck? That's not a blush brush. That's literally an angled brush. You know what? Okay. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Love Flesh Blush in the shade Love Hangover. And I'm going to be using a Real Techniques blush brush. I think I'm ready to film a makeup collection. I'm just, like, kind of... Like, I just really hate my storage, but, like, technically I'm ready. But I like really hate my storage. So why did I just put blush on my forehead? Fuck me. <coughs> and then for glow, I think I'm gonna be using. Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna be using. I'm going to be using the Heart Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. I love this so much. One of my favorite highlighters. I know it's a rainbow. So you look at that, you're like, you rainbow cringe, and then you swatch it. Not a rainbow anymore, is it? It's literally my favorite highlighter. I've been using it nonstop. I literally can't stop using it. I'm gonna be taking that on a Morphe M501 brush. Okay, and then for lips, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. I really like the name of this. It's just like a really peachy color. My opinion on this is that it's a little bit harder to apply than their shade Nudie Patootie. I feel like you need to add more coats to it. And yeah, that's the final look. So thank you guys for watching me cough all over the camera, giving you my sickness, giving you my germs. But yeah, so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on coughing. Bye.